I love that line in there where you actually said in a song, God, how can I top Call Me Maybe? <laughs> Which I'm sure has been this, like, this ghost on your back for a while. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a lot of pressure that comes on you after something like that. Um, and it was also self, self-imposed too, right? You know, um, so p- part of where I came up with the, with the idea for that song um, is, so after, the day after the Grammys, uh, when Carly and I went, and, you know, it was big, crazy, oh, my God, you know, it was just, Ugh. and uh, did that, and then went into, went into Interscope the next day, um, who we had just signed with, and they, they, you, 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 you meet everyone who's going to work with you, so you sort of are sitting in a room and chatting with whomever for 10 minutes at, 10 minutes at a time for hours all day, uh, and they all were just like, so, call me maybe, huh? What else you got, kid? <laughs> and, I, oh, and I was like, nothing. <laughs> but I had to just bullshit and be like, oh, I got this great concept for this and that and that. is totally just spinning. Um, and that, that's sort of where I first felt that pressure. Not that they were necessarily like hitting me hard with it, but then I felt the self-imposed pressure to be like, oh my God, I have to, do, I have to, do I have to top this and blah, blah, So when we started working on the, on the record, I, I actually just let that go. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to care about writing singles, man. Like, I'm just going gonna, just, I'm just to write some songs that I want to write. Sounds like a, a good way to go, obviously. Um, people think that that's what you've done with Carly Rae Jepsen, but you wrote Sour Candy, you wrote Guitar String, Wedding Ring, both of which are really good songs. Co-wrote, and co-wrote. Uh, co-wrote, sorry, co-wrote with her, uh, those songs. So, I mean, it's, it's like, uh, there's, more, there's way more to it than that. You've also written with all kinds of people. I mean, uh, Jackalope, Melissa Ray Barry, uh, your bandmate Matt Webb, like there's uh, Nickelback of all, I mean, you're writing with all these people. It's almost like, are you like the 604 Records staff songwriter now? Whenever there's a 604 <laughs> Records act, like, okay, let's get Josh to write a song with them. I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I, uh, I, if people want to write a song with me and, uh, and, it, and it seems like fun, then, then I go for it. And uh, like I said, I, I really like the challenge of it, you know? Uh, uh, like, you know, yeah, I mean, at the same time we were doing Astoria, uh, I, I, like, for example, the Nickelback one, um, uh, Chad heard the song of ours called Pop 101 that was very sort of tongue-in-cheek, satirical um, uh, take on songwriting. And he, he literally texted me. He was like, hey, man, I like that song. And I was like, oh, thanks, dude. What are you doing? And he was like, oh, I'm working on a record in Maui. I was like, oh, cool. And then he was like, do you want to come? you want to come? And I was like, you okay? And he was like, all right, plane leaves in the morning. I was like, what? And the next day I was just like, on, you know, with him, with him just writing songs. And, uh, and that was fun. And like, I mean, uh, you know, everyone, everyone has a different songwriting process. And, uh, and, you know, I've been fortunate enough to, to, to work with a lot of talented people, and it's always, it's always a great opportunity to, uh, to learn someone else's moves, and, and, or just in someone else's approach, right. I should say. Yeah. And uh, Chad's approach is very different than mine, and that was a really great, uh, that was a really great learning moment for me. It was, uh, it was fun. And, uh, and then I got back and went back to work on the record, and then, and then through Twitter, uh, Luke from Five Seconds of Summer was like, hey man, you want to come to LA and do a song? And I was like, wow. I'll see you tomorrow. Off we go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's kind of incredible, but that's it's 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 kind of cool because from the outside you think, well, oh, this is sort of corporate, and they want you to write with this one, and they want to write with that one. But a lot of this seems to happen, as you say, pretty naturally, and just you know from people saying, hey, I like your work. And generally, it's personally. It's not like through a team of people. Wow. It's, it's usually just you know I don't know. You run into someone, and right. if juices go, then you go. <laughs>